Hello everybody, this is Kiam the Smart Home and my name is Ali Reza. In today's video, I want to run an experiment to see whether we can use our Weibo Zigbee devices with Toya or not. In other words, to test if our Weibo Zigbee devices are compatible with Toya or not. In order to integrate Zigbee, Zigbee 3.0, with Toya, we need a Toya Zigbee hub. In this video, I have Moes Wireless Smart Gateway as our converter. Also, talking about our Vivo devices, I have a 2 gang or Vivo touch switch and a thermostat or Vivo thermostat. Before continuing the video, please click the subscribe button as it motivates me to upload more videos. Stay tuned. I'm going to start from scratch. First of all, we have to add our Toya Zigbee gateway to a Smart Life app. I connect the hub to power supply. It has two LEDs. The red LED is Wi-Fi indicator and the blue LED is Zigbee indicator. Here we have a reset button. You have to download a Smart Life app and create an account. If you already have an account and have the app, log into it. By pressing and holding the reset button until the red LED starts blinking fast, the device enters into pairing mode. In the app, I tap on plus at the top right corner of the screen, tap on Add Device. On the left list, I choose Gateway Control. Select Wireless Gateway, Zigbee. Select 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network and enter password. Then tap on Next. Confirm the indicator is blinking rapidly. Yes. Tap on it. Select blink quickly and wait for adding the device. One device is added, I tap on it, tap on plus. The device added successfully. You can change its name. After that, tap on done at the top right corner of the screen. Now the gateway is added and it's ready to add Zigbee devices. Or let's say to integrate Zigbee devices with Toya. I start by pairing or Vivo touch switch. I connect it to power. In a Smart Life app, I choose gateway. At the bottom of the screen, I tap on add sub devices. Press one of the buttons and hold it. By the way, this is the first time I'm using this or Vivo device, as you see, it's blinking. It means it's in pairing mode. LED already blink, I tap on it. One device has been successfully added. I tap on done. Let's change its name. Our Vivo switch is paired with Toya successfully. You can control it using a Smart Life app. And if the status of relays are changed manually, 
we immediately have its feedback in a Smart Life app. So our Weibo touch switch is fully compatible. On the main page, we have our Weibo switch. It's working. Let's try pairing our Weibo thermostat with Toyo. I connected our Weibo thermostat to power. On the app, I choose Gateway. At the bottom of the screen, I tap on Add Sub Device. In order to enter the Oribo Zigbee thermostat into pairing mode, turn it on. You have to press a speed control button four times, and after that, press a speed button and mode button simultaneously together and hold it. Then this device enters into paving mode. Okay, thermostat is on. One, two, three, four, five. After entering the thermostat into paving mode, I tap on LED already blink on the app. Wait to see. if it be added or not. It seems that our Weibo Zigbee thermostat is not compatible. Search timed out, no device found. Let's try pairing it one more time. The device is on. One, two, three, four. Try again. Or Weibo Zigbee thermostat is not found by the app, or let's say Toya Zigbee Hub. So, Or Weibo Touch Switch is fully compatible with Toya Zigbee Hub, but Or Weibo Zigbee thermostat is not compatible. This video was just a simple experiment. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already. You can support me by buying me a coffee. I'll see you in the next video.